Today we're going to see some wall art, a do-it-yourself fire station, and a fish uber. The last couple nights have been really bad. Uh, terrible headaches, spasms all night. I was not getting much sleep, neither did my wife. I would wake up and she's massaging me because apparently I was moaning and spazzing out. So I'm tired, man. I don't feel good. So I'm going to go take a walk. She says I should stay home and take it easy, but I got to get out the house. Just going to go wander if I make it. Oh, what a day. <laughs> More fun, huh? More fun in the Philippines. Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. I forgot to put on my outside sunglasses. These do not darken. My regular glasses do. Oh, no. I'm too lazy to go back upstairs. Okay, that... That is a 7-Eleven right next to my condo. Generally, in the U.S., 7-Elevens all have ATMs. I've never seen one here that had an ATM. So, we're going to go wander. If I were to cross that bridge into Molo, there are numerous ATMs, a 7-Eleven, and all kinds of other shopping and shade. This way, however, not so much. So we're going to go this way to be different. I have come this way before, but it has been a while. We're going to find an ATM and at some point a Coke. Probably a couple Cokes, knowing me. We're in the first week of July and it raises the question, the happy holidays did they just put that up or is that up all year? One may never know. This area has not been the best for walking because of all the road construction. But right now, I have more room than they do. It's actually gotten pretty good for the moment. Now once they open it up, I'll be stuck onto this sidewalk that's probably never going to be finished. But for now, I'm living large. Okay. It still ain't perfect. Eh, but what are you going to do, right? I'll take my chances in the water instead of the traffic. dirt. It's very loose. I'm going to fall on my ass and it's going to be funny. Won't be funny to me. But it'll be funny to everyone else. Watch out for that first step. It's a mess. This is a private school. It is one of the larger private schools here in Hilo Hilo. Very big, very popular and very closed. They've been closed for a year and a half. I have some friends that go here and they are doing online courses. I hope they're getting their money's worth. How can a school afford to be closed for a year and a half? I do not know. And from the maintenance point of view, I hope they got staff in there taking care of the building because in a year and a half, it will fall apart. I used to do building maintenance they fall apart quickly. Something I've not noticed before, but here at the shops at Atria, the offices are in this container building. They got four containers, security, operations, maintenance, all of that. I am curious, what is the longevity of these buildings? Because I've heard of people making houses out of them, it's supposed to be rather cheap. I wonder how long do they last? Huh. I didn't know they had those here. Interesting. Let's see if the bank is available today. 
Well, that was a mistake. There is a line for the ATM. Security is monitoring it. But before I got in the line, they did let me know the machine is only giving 100 peso bills. Generally, that also means a 3,000 peso limit. That will not work for me in any stretch of the imagination. This ATM had no line, and I don't know, man, what, <laughs> what is this? Self-service volunteer fire department? I have no idea, man. So I went into the Metro grocery store, supermarket, whatever they call it, and I bought a bag of frozen peas, because why not? I was walking up to the register with them balanced on the top of my head, because they are cold, and it felt good, and they looked at me like I'm crazy. They don't know me very well yet. They got a lot of neat paintings here at Atria, all over the city, really. But here are some benches all painted up because why not? How did you enjoy that? Okay. Um, I bought frozen peas. That was not part of the plan because there was no plan. Now I have to go home before the peas melt. Got to get them in the freezer. I was going to stop for lunch. I guess I'll get it for takeout. Restaurants are only open 10% of the tables anyway. What sounds good? I still need a Coke. Nice fountain. Okay, so we're gonna sit down and drink our Coke while the frozen peas melt. Because Coke is more important than frozen peas. And I'm just kind of hanging out. It's shady here. I like it. Turns out all I had for lunch was my coat. While I had my coke, these guys came up. I'm not gonna make fun of these guys for, you know, being cautious, but it was just odd. I've not seen this level of care ever. They came up to sit down. They're wearing glasses, paper mask, and a face shield. They sprayed their chairs down with alcohol, sat down, then they applied hand sanitizer. A minute later, one of the guys took off his jacket. Why he's wearing a jacket today, I have no idea. But anyway, he takes off his jacket, reapplies the hand sanitizer because he touched his jacket. And I'm like, these guys are being really, really careful. Uh, can't blame them, but wow, I have not seen that level of care in a, ever. People are good about wearing their mask and stuff here, but I mean, you know, come on. Anyway, we're going to wander around the shops. This section's kind of closed. There's mostly restaurants, mostly local stuff, but it's kind of a neat hangout. Their music here is very loud, so I have to turn their music off and turn on some free YouTube-provided music.
course, it would not be a Philippine shopping center without Bo's Coffee and a McDonald's. I did not go there for lunch. I only had a Coke for lunch. But I'm getting in a taxi and going home because my peas are melting. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this plastic bag too. I'm looking at it and water is splashing in the bag. He's carrying home goldfish. More fun in the Philippines. My goal today had nothing to do with finding brandy. But this is probably the best brandy I've had here. It's only half paint thinner. The other half actually tastes like brandy. Generally, the balance is more like 75% paint thinner on most Philippine alcohols. It's a rot gut country. But this stuff's almost drinkable. Probably have to mix it with some Coke, but you know, it still ain't brandy, but whatever. Life's tough all over. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>